G'day, George Tran here. I'm the guy who single-handedly programmed OneShoppingCart.com and I sold that company many years ago. And some of my clients have been wanting to uh, set up their own private social network and they have a very special need. And I've searched far and wide and I've found Adapt to uh, fit that need very well. And what we do is we uh, help clients set up private social networks professionally and we it's a, a complete done for your service if you want more information about it come to thirdstagebusiness.com that's t h i r d stage s t a g e business.com and we'll show you how to set up a private social network and we'll actually it's a done for you service with consulting so the the thing about um, setting up a membership web, membership website is there's so many moving pieces involved and so in order to be successful what you want to do is to focus on what you're good at, at which is your core competency content creation process as uh, and you don't want to do the technical technician stuff let technicians do what they're good at and that's the technical stuff the FTP the secure server uh, SSL stuff, you know, just let them handle that and allow you to focus on content creation and, um, you know, doing your marketing, joint venture relationships and stuff like that. So that's what we do in, in third stage businesses. We help you build your private social network for you. So it's a hands off solution. So then all you need to do is focus on content creation. But let me just give you a quick rundown of why um, BuddyPress and D DAP. Uh, digital access pass works so well together so this is a a, a, a simple template that that uses uh, sorry that that um, BuddyPress uses I want to give you some highlights of why this is so cool so this is just a, a front page on on uh, BuddyPress and then the beauty with this is BuddyPress allows you to have a private social network where you have members with very elaborate uh, custom um, fields that I'll show you in a bit but the other thing about this is it allows me to have a private um, Twitter feed within my community so one of the key about keeping people so what it's one thing to set up a membership website it's another to keep them there for longer you know if you even even if you keep them there for one extra month the average attrition uh, on a membership website is atrocious and it's between two to three months so if you even increase one month of membership you've increased your revenue by at least 33 percent so it is worth your while to kind of pay attention to the the uh, collaborative nature so, so here's the secret People come for the community, as so they come for the content, you know, the benefit that you have to offer, but they stay for the community. So what you want to do is to have as many uh, relationship anchors as possible to get your people interacting with each other. One of the great ways to interact with each other is a personal Twitter feed with other members so they, they can keep track of um, their progress, have questions and stuff like that. They can post the their activity feed here for other people in the community to interact with them. So this is a really powerful feature that's built into BuddyPress that you can use as part of your membership website. Alright, so this is one thing. Now you can have a member search and you can even search for members. Let's say you can search for somebody who um, who specializes in SEO. Let's see if it finds out. Look at that. So you can find somebody that specializes in SEO right from this member search area. So it's a really powerful way. So let's look at this guy. So in, in uh, this is a, a function of WordPress and BuddyPress. And with BuddyPress, it allows me to have more information about what, what this guy has posted in the past, who his friends are, what groups he belongs to, any favorite posts that he has, as well as I can see his profile. Let's look at his profile. And in the profile, you can see that there's a lot more to the field than the basic uh, WordPress fields. You can have you have the name. You can add spe custom fields like city, um, special fields like you know who's your favorite actor, etc. So it's, it has a lot more going on about the the member profile than just a regular uh, WordPress. You know the the fields that you get. The other thing about that, remember what, what I said, right? People come for the content, but they stay for the community. With a forum built into BuddyPress, you now have the ability for your members to interact with each other and ask questions and collaborate and, and comment with each other. And the beauty with this is, once it's set up, you 
your members get notified whenever a new activity happens on the forum if they're they're a participant in that uh, forum, which is great. Remember, Facebook is very successful is because it keeps sending you reminders about hey, this is the latest thing that's going on. Your friend sent you a message, so this is another way you want to keep your community alive and fully engaged by having a forum. See, most people drop the ball when they build a membership website. They don't focus on the collaborative nature, the the interaction. Action. And the more you can have your community chat and support each other, collaborate with each other, form mastermind groups together, the longer they stay, the more money you make. And that's what this this platform. I'm so excited to do this. And I, I, this, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. This is just the basic introduction about the platform, how DAP can be used in in coordination uh, with BuddyPress. And then I'm going to show you how to get the setup going. So the other thing I've I've set up in this particular specialized blog is now you can also have your regular um, updates, your blog, posted here. I've also included uh, the ability for us to register for events right within this application and I, I may, may show you here as well. So that's what um, this setup looks like. So here's what I want to do. So I presume that you know how to set up a, a WordPress blog. So I want to I want, uh, bother uh, showing you how to set up a WordPress blog. Now, once you have a WordPress blog set up, then what you want to do is to do the following. Let me sh Let me show you. Okay, so this is my WordPress blog. The first thing you want to do is to upload the DAP directory. All right, so you just upload the DAP directory into the root of your WordPress blog. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to cut to the next scene. Okay, so now DAP is uploaded into the root of this directory. Next thing you want to do is to set the access right for this directory. So you go in here, typically with your FTP software, you can set the access right by going to you know, get information or right mouse click or something like that. It'll change the access right. So what you want to do is to change the access right. What I, I would want to do is to change it to 777 initially, which allows you to you know, both have read rights, access, uh, write rights, as well as execution rights for the purpose of ease of use for DAP and then you can modify it back once it's ready to 755 okay you start with 777 but then you, once it's done then you can ease back to 755 and this allows uh, DAP to be edited and executed inside the WordPress application so once that's uploaded the next thing you want to do is to go into um, WordPress uh, content and you want to go into plugins and you want to upload the DAP plugin, which is the W DAP link. Once that's done, then we go into upload the BuddyPress. Now you should already have um, downloaded BuddyPress. If you haven't already, then um, go install the BuddyPress from your system. But for now, I'm just going to upload BuddyPress from my directory here.